let's say, you know, Shane and I give you a diet to start with. And by the way, you can start with any program, anything you want. I don't care. You like keto? Perfect. You like veganism? Perfect. You like paleo diet? Perfect. You know, you like just a standard American diet? Perfect. Start wherever you want. Now, what's going to happen when you start eating and or cutting down calories specifically if you're trying to lose weight? What is going to happen is you're going to begin to cause changes in your physiology. The body's either going to say, I like this and I'm not stressed or I don't like this and I am stressed. Now, if the body likes it and is comfortable and is able to function, what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, you, you cut down your calories. I'm going to grab my fat stores. I'm going to make up these extra calories and we're all good and you'll learn, you'll lose some fat. Now, if the body doesn't like it, it's going to say, wait a second, this feels like starvation to me. And so I'm going to try to get that fuel back. I'm going to increase your hunger. I'm going to increase your cravings. I'm going to make sure your energy is unpredictable and unstable, and I'm going to decrease your metabolic rate. Actually, the body does a couple other really insidious, nasty things to you too. Not only does it do slow your resting metabolic rate and cause increased hunger and cravings, it also constrains your metabolism when you go and work out. So that 30 minute workout that you thought you were burning 200 calories, now you're only burning 150 calories. It also insidiously and silently makes it so you're less motivated to get up and walk around so that you fidget less during the day so that you don't move a whole lot in bed. It's basically doing everything it can to recover that energy debt that you have created. And what will happen is this is where the pendulum starts to swing. Now, if you're going to be savvy at this, you need to know when that pendulum starts to swing. So that now, as soon as you start feeling these biofeedback sensations, your hormones talking to you, now you can adjust those calories back up a little bit, or maybe add some protein or some satiating fiber or other things that you and I might teach them about. And now that diet that you started with is paleo plus your individual needs or keto plus your individual needs or veganism plus your individual needs. And by the way, your metabolism doesn't care what your, your nutrition bias is. It only cares that it's getting what it needs. And so rather than letting your bias and your dogma around nutrition determine what you do, you let your metabolism determine what you do. And this is essentially um, sort of what we're talking about. And by the way, it doesn't matter, right? Because there's another false dichotomy we create. And I know you're aware of it, Shane, but I'll share it with everyone here. The other false dichotomy we create is this false dichotomy of, um, hey, we should just be eating intuitively, right? You know, just eat intuitively. You don't have to count anything. And then, no, you need to count and track everything. The truth is that's another false dichotomy. It's, it's also, it's basically the same thing we talked about before. It's basically prioritizing quality over quantity or quantity over quality. 